In today's Hypixel Skyblock video, I'm going to be going over the best builds for tank. And now after this video, I've officially done a guide on every single class. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop making these type of videos. It just means that maybe the next few videos will be an updated version of a class or something related to that. Now, before I get into it, please consider subscribing, liking, and possibly joining my Discord server link in the description. As it supports me a lot and shows that you want more videos like this. But without any further delay, let's get into it. Alright, to start off for early game, uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, early game is pretty straightforward, uh, it's not too complicated. Now to start off with adaptive, uh, this is gonna be your first option that you can get. Uh, it's pretty cheap armor, I actually don't know why someone's trying to sell the leggings for 150k, but normally the leggings would be around 740k. But, as you can see, it's overall a pretty cheap set, so you shouldn't struggle too much on the price, unless if you're completely new, and that's why I have, uh, multiple builds for early game the second set you can get is protector it's uh, also a really cheap set it's definitely more cheaper than um adapt but if you can afford adaptive definitely go for that but with adaptive you do need that floor 3 completion so this is definitely an alternate for players who don't have that floor 3 completion and lastly one thing that i guess you could just get if you are truly struggling in money uh, is just super heavy it's really cheap and you can get whatever you want uh, just make sure you have, it might take like a little small catacombs level requirement, but outside of that, it is really cheap and pretty decent. Now, for the weapon, I would just say Adaptive Blade is probably the best, unless if you can afford a FOT. Uh, if you can afford a FOT, you could probably go for that. It would make your damage higher and your clears a little bit easier, but overall you are a tank, so it doesn't matter too much. So definitely go with this if you can't really survive in higher floors as a tank. And lastly for the pet, you can get a blue whale. Hopefully you can get a rare. Um, and make sure you can get the highest level possible that you can afford. For example, maybe like a pretty, like a 50, a level 50 would be good. But anywhere around there is fine as well. And of course, any other accessories like Wand of Healing is just adding on to your build. You can get them if you need, but it's not necessarily needed moving on to mid game i also have a few builds that you can choose from now the first one is necromancer and the only problem with this one is a little bit of the price and the floor six completion which is definitely a huge gap from the last build that's why i have an alternate to this one now this is a really good set if you can get it it's really tanky and Definitely good enough if you're high enough catacombs for uh, floor 7. Now, if you cannot afford Necromancer or you just straight up don't have them floor completion, you can get uh, the, the perfect tier set, which is pretty good. Uh, overall, it gives you a lot of defense. Um, you can get whatever tier you can afford. Hopefully, you can get higher than just like tier 1, because the higher the tier, the more defense, which of course you would want. Now, for the helmet, you can actually switch it out for a Reaper mask if you can afford one and if you have that and if you have the requirements. Now, if you don't have the requirements, you can get a you can get a revived heart or whatever lower tiers there are for this one as this would also work pretty well for the double healing. Now, for the weapon, it doesn't matter too much what you get, but I recommend getting a livid dagger. It's just overall a pretty good weapon and you get the 100% crit chance, which will help with siphon. Now, hopefully you can afford a higher blue whale for the pet. Uh, if you can get legendary, get that. But if not, you can get an epic. Just make sure the level is decently high for both of them. Lastly, moving on to late game. I only have a one build, but this one is pretty simple. And that will be 3 Force Goldor. Goldor is probably one of the best tank, tank armor in the game. And overall, the price is definitely a little bit more expensive from the last ones. But that is probably expected for... Floor 7 gear. And for the helmet, what you're going to want is a Reaper Mask. This doubles your healing. And overall, it's just really good. So I definitely recommend this if you have the Revenant Slayer 7. For the weapon overall, the Livid Dagger is definitely acceptable again. But if you can afford something a little bit better, you can of course go for that. And of course, just like the other builds, you want to go for the Blue Whale as a pet. Definitely try to go for a level 100 if you can afford one. But otherwise, other levels work as well. That is early, mid, and late game. 
But if I did miss something, just comment in the comment section to help other people out. 